All right, guys. Hey, it's time for another Lyrics Explained, and this is one of the biggest songs on the charts right now, guys. It's East Side with Benny Blanco, Halsey, and Khalid. It's an amazing song. You've heard it a thousand times. A beautiful melody, great singing. Of course, these are all top performers. Let's look at the lyrics, and I have, I'll be honest with you, it took me a while to examine these lyrics, because... Uh, it's more of a conceptual song than anything, right? They're dealing with concepts, with ideas. And so I had to draw on my years of study at uh, the University of Eastern Denver uh, School of Lyric Criticism. And I actually called one of my old professors, uh, Professor Lyrico. And I said, Professor, let us let me ask you about this song, uh, East Side. And we had a very spirited discussion uh, he was at a Starbucks, and I was singing at home. We went for like an hour on the phone. Uh, but I think our, ex our analysis is going to help you understand this song and enjoy it even more. So let's go through it. This is East Side, so let's kick it right off. Uh, when I was young, I fell in love. We used to hold hands, man. That was enough. Yeah. Then we grew up, started to touch, used to kiss underneath the light on the back of the bus. Oh, no, your daddy won't like me much, and he didn't believe me when I said you were the one. Oh, every day she found out of the, she found a way out of the window. She got late. So this entire song is about the main character's German shepherd named Pokey. Now, he fell in love with the dog when it was a puppy at the shelter. So he used to, he was a kid. He was a kid and fell in love with this dog, and he couldn't afford to, to take, he couldn't, he didn't know, he couldn't convince his father that to take the dog. He said, I want the dog, I want this dog, and he fell in love with it. So when he says, we used to hold hands, the, he, the pokey would put his little paw through the grate. So you have the uh, fencing at the shelter, and then you have the gate, so there's a space between the gate and the rest of the fencing. He'd put his paw through there and he'd hold his paw. So we used to hold hands, man, that was enough. That's what he's talking about. He's, and they grew up. He started to touch him on the nose as he grew up. And then and he'd let him lick his face. Of course, he'd put his face up and he'd lick his face. So he's getting to know the dog, but he still can't convince his father. <clears throat> That's what it says right there. Oh no, your daddy didn't like it much and he didn't believe me. When I said, you were the one, I want this dog, that's what he's saying. He or she, you're not really sure who, that's what they're saying. Oh, every day she found a way out the window to sneak out late. So, in, in this case, the dog is sneaking out of that side yard they have. And is it it's howling, is howling in the late night hours because he wants to join the author of the song at his house. He wants out of the shelter. So he starts to imagine how it would go. And sure enough, Pokey finds a way to climb the drain pipe outside in that yard. The yard they have outside. Climbs the drain pipe with his paws. He's like... And runs to meet the guy on the other side of town. It's because so by now he's created, and if you're a dog lover, you know, he creates a bond with the dog. And then, and it, because the dad won't accept the dog at the house, they meet on the east side. So they both go to the east side in the city where the sun don't set. Now that's a metaphor. There is no city where the sun doesn't set. But when they're together, they're always in sunshine. He loves the dog. The dog, Pokey, loves the guy. And every day, you know that we ride through the back streets of a blue Corvette. Now, this is at the it's, it's a little carnival there, and they have cars. This is a kid. This is a kid. They get in the carnival cars. You know those, like a merry-go-round, but they're cars. And so he'd get in there and put the dog next to him in a blue Corvette, and they would enjoy the carnival over there on the east side. Baby... You know, I just want to leave tonight. We can go anywhere we want, drive down to the coast, jump in the sea, just take my hand and come with me. Yeah. So and when he's talking about the coast, he's talking about water, and that is the Splash Mountain at the carnival. That is the log ride. 
We've all, we've all gone down the log ride. So they're there in the front of the log ride. There's the German shepherd. His tongue is hanging out as they go down the flume. And then, of course, they get soaked and they laugh. And It's a touching story. We can do anything if we put our minds to it. Take your whole life, then you put a line through it, my love. So he's just saying love conquers all. And in this case, he loves Pokey, the German shepherd puppy. And... Uh, it's just an amazing story. Guys, if you're a dog lover, you know exactly what he's talking about. You'll do anything to, to be with your dog. You'll be anything to spend time with them, get on the merry-go-round with them, go down the, the, the uh, log ride, uh, go out to the east side, get on the blue Corvette. You know, it's just a matter of, it's, dog, it's man's best friend, and uh, cats, cats don't even come close. So uh, all dog lovers will agree with me because we know the facts. And guys, uh, that's it for Eastside. I hope you enjoyed that analysis. I think it'll bring you a lot more enjoyment of the song itself, which is already such a great melody and great, great performances. All right, talk to you soon.